sat right with me eating meat or anything. I could never think of what it actually was. Um, and then, so I kind of, if I can't actually think about what I'm eating because it makes me too upset, then maybe it wasn't for me and I shouldn't have been eating it. Hi, I'm Dina Ahern and I'm a mentor on the Leicester Vegan Challenge. I've been vegan for about eight years. Um, well, my initial move to being vegan from being vegetarian was uh, triggered by a, a video that I saw with a calf being separated uh, from her mother, uh, the dairy cow. And by being vegetarian, I had no idea that uh, this was actually happening for me to be able to drink uh, or consume dairy. And that for me was pretty much a light switch, uh, which turned me to going vegan. I had very severe eczema and asthma um, and thought it was, it was time to try anything. So I went vegan for a month just to see if it would have any kind of effect. And after the second week, my, my eczema and asthma massively reduced. I come from a meat-eating family, so it was quite a big thing for me at the time. But I thought if we just trialled it for a month. Um, but also I've, got, um, I've struggled in the past with IBS, so I have digestive issues. And kind of cutting out the dairy and the meat has been really, really good for me as well. I'm Joe. I'm a mentor with the Leicester Vegan Challenge. And I've been vegan for three years and five months. Initially, I decided to go vegan when I was a PhD student studying human rights. And studying human rights, I was, of course, interested in what the ethical foundations for human rights are. And the more I studied it and the more I looked into it, I realized that there were no non-arbitrary or consistent reasons to care about the rights of humans but not be concerned with the rights of other animals. Other animals like humans are sentient, they suffer and they feel pain. Someone planted a seed. Um, I, I mean, I spoke to a lot of, um, I've been to a vegan market before and um, I, they, they just opened my eyes to the reality of what goes on in the dairy industry because uh, I was a big consumer of dairy and cheese and stuff and um, when I learned about what happened to the, to the cow um, I couldn't take it so I, I think I made the change overnight um, and yeah. I learned I, um, I didn't want to hurt the animals yeah. As a, when I became a mother and I started breastfeeding my own children, um, when I found out what actually happens to the cows and how they're artificially inseminated and then they have their children taken from them, um, yet they're forced to still give their milk and they suffer from mastitis, which is um, a breast infection that I have suffered from myself and it is horrendous, it is so painful. That was it for me. Then I just couldn't. I couldn't fund those industries any longer. It's really for myself, but ultimately for the animals. As I've become more and more aware of what goes on, even just in the dairy industry alone, it is not how you think with the animals. You know, in the fields, and they have the calves taken off them at such a young age, and all all what they have to go through to produce that, which should be ultimately for the calf, not for us. We don't need it. Hi, my name is Cheryl and I'm a mentor for the Leicester Vegan Challenge. I have been vegan for about two years now. I decided to go vegan for the animals, uh, but also for the planet, the environment, lots of reasons. Hi, I'm Nick and I'm a mentor for the Leicester Vegan Challenge. I've been vegan for about 29 years now. It's a mixture of reasons really. I think my initial reason for becoming vegan was for animal rights, but I never really separated it from issues of development and resource use, so environmental impact um, and health reasons as well. So it's, it's quite a broad set of reasons why I'm vegan. Vegetarianism always made sense to me and I always thought vegan was a bit extreme, but the more I researched it, the more it's just the logical choice. Mm -hmm.